The lyrics to that in English are, wherever I go out on the street, the people stop and admire the beauty that is me from my head to my foot. As we would say in Yiddish, Musetta's got chutzpah. And she does. She is a courtesan. This is from La Boheme, and this is Musetta's waltz. Musetta didn't have a choice. Her character is strong, and she opted to not be poor, nor having lots of children and being married off. So she became a courtesan. As we know that today, that is a high-priced escort. Now, Musetta didn't have a lot of choices, but she's very strong. And even though her heart might be faltering in the ways that she wants to be, she still accepts her fate and helps others. I found my voice through opera. I was an introvert, last of four children, a spectator on the sidelines, seeing things that I wanted to speak up for and stand up for, and my voice, my instrument, came through music. And through that, at 13, I enjoyed singing in the church choir and other choirs, and then a choir teacher in school said, you should really go into private singing. Why don't you look into that? And my first teacher saw potential and then took me to an opera where I saw an opera singer in a costume on the stage, pounding the stage as Electra. And she was furious and she was dramatic and she looked fabulous. And I, my voice teacher looked at me she said, hooked? I said, oh, yeah. Slowly but surely, as I learned to get into these roles and to be on stage and to find my voice, I was able to embrace characters, queens, courtesans, clever servants, crazy people, countesses. But through them, I started discovering my voice to be able to be me and to speak about the things I wanted to do. I needed to find my instrument. I needed to find my voice. I needed to be in tune. And so do you. Please stand. This isn't a one-way participation. All right. Thank you so much. Please stand. And I appreciate this so much. Good. Oh, I am so excited to see all of you. May I please ask those on the left, I'm going to give you a pitch, and you're going to try to hold that pitch, try to tune to yourself and to others. And then those in the middle, I will give you another pitch. And I think I'm a little sparse on this side, but I believe you're going to have strong voices. I've heard you before. I know you can do it. All right. Mm, this side will be do, do. I can almost hear you. Go ahead and sing. Do. I can't hear you. Do. Keep going. Hold it. In the middle, me, me. Keep holding do, me. So, so, tune in to somebody you think that has it. So, me, do, do, there's a lot of you, I need to hear more do, give me some more do, ready, do's ready, you got, now I'm going to give you a steady beat and a tempo, do, 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 ready, you'll try it. Awesome, keep, keep going. Do, do, re, do. Can't hear you, come on. Do, do, re, do. Keep it going. Awesome, middle. Me, me, me for me. So, 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 la, do. So, 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 That's a little louder. Come on. And 
stop and applaud yourselves. That was amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm, I am proud of you. You deserve that applause. Please have a seat. I'm going to look for some hands. Keep the lights up. How many of you, this is your first collective singing experience? Do I see? Yay, I see some hands. So your first experience, that's amazing. Thank you for taking the time to try it out. For how many of you did you possibly not even do it but moved your mouth because it was so different for you and you were afraid of making a mistake? Anybody? All right, you're all risk takers. So nobody was, oh, thank you so much. Truth and honesty, wonderful. And how many of you felt that you were really confident singing alone and maybe with others? Felt really good. <laughs> super, super. So you have just had a shared arts experience and each one of you had a different role. You had a steady beat, you had a tempo, you had a note to listen to, to tune to yourself and tune to others. You pushed through some of your challenges, maybe some of your fears. Some of you, did you lead to try to help others? Did some of you lead to help others? Anybody take that chance to say, I can do this, I'm gonna help you? So many roles bring us together for, yes, thank you. Um, so many roles, were there to bring you together to have this shared experience. Sometimes we want to be on the side, sometimes we want to be front and center, sometimes we want to be the helper and the guide on the side. Sometimes we don't want to try, but then there's somebody. We're in this together. And as you held that note and you kept going, you were in the power of pause to just listen and be exactly who you were at that moment, even though I gave you the cue. I want to talk about the power of pause, and I'm going to turn to one of my greatest inspiration, and that is Bugs Bunny, followed by Bruno Mars, in the power of pause and the fermata. Now, I can't do what Bugs did because that is the joy of animation. <laughs> the joy of animation. I can't stop. I can't leave my glove in the air to hold you in pause. But guess what did? It was something called a pandemic. And you were in a holding pattern to really segue into what I have to say here. That power of pause, that idea that forces outside of ourselves, and I am going to speak to Gen Z, but also their community around them. You were put on pause. Sometimes it was okay to be in that lockdown, in the comfort of your families. Sometimes it was very isolating. Sometimes you felt that your only connection to your teachers, to your parents, to your grandparents, to your friends, was through a third-party lens. You tried to find ways of motivation, trying to stay connected, trying to say, I'm trying to go through this, and you wanted to, and you had those moments to reassess and maybe stop for a moment and not be in traffic for three hours or an hour or 45 minutes. Stop and maybe get up a little bit later. There's always pros and cons. As somebody said, in a pause, we get a time to reassess what it is that we're doing. Even if you don't agree with all the different situations, I know as I would watch with family up in Delhi and friends in Delhi, and I would watch then what was happening with my place in Germany, 
how we would have to pivot and be flexible and understand. And then at the same time, as a mother of a teenager, understand this communication. Was it on the sidelines, active participant, fatigue, anxiety, depression, isolation? And those questions, those critical questions came up in this pause. Why did this happen? Why do I have to do these things? Why can't I? Why this seems so stupid? Why this is great? But you had to also see the because safety, care. We were in a global and collective experience, often in an ill-fitted shoe that we just didn't quite understand. You are ready to question and to put more than an opinion, more than a question, more than critical thinking, from an idea into action. There is a shared global experience, one that we are perceptibly surviving. But how we are going forward is new. There wasn't a big, great conductor that said, OK, downbeat, let's go forward. You are still in that reassess, pause, and understand, and question, and critically wonder. Being in harmony means finding your voice first, because that first instrument that needs to be in tune, as we saw in our first exercise, is you. The greatest act of creation to help us tune is the birth of every single one of you. Inside of you is a cultural DNA across time and space that has made up the history, that being of you, shaped as you were born by family and society. But in that cultural DNA that you can choose to love, embrace, ignore, question, is there as a history for you to call upon. In this, cre in this creation, look to your blood, wonder, tune in to all that makes you, be curious to all that it is. I have suggestions to help you tune. Take the time to talk and listen to your elders your grandparents, your aunts, your neighbors. They have such a rich history and a context of experiences that when you think you need to change the world by yourself, get their help, because there's a spoiler alert. You can't. We are in this together. Let them hear you. Let them hear your perspective and be patient in listening to theirs. Take the time to listen and talk to your parents, your mentors, your guardians, those who inspire you. I know this is going to seem really weird, but they probably were teenagers once before, too. And they have some experiences pre-pandemic during pandemic, they have a context that helped shape them into being from other familial pressures, other dramas, other societal upheavals that shaped them into being to be the guardians and guides of you today. Context. Respect your teachers. Talk and listen to them. They are trying their hardest to give you the best tools to put into a toolkit that you can reach in and choose from to become the best you on your path going forward. And probably they will want to write you a letter of recommendation. Do listen to them. Finally, create, create, create. Doodle every day. Write a letter to your future self. Go out to an arts experience. Learn a new instrument. Discover a new art form. Wear a costume. Become a character. 
do something that is creative every single day. Step out and take the time to pause and create. The fermata puts the music on hold, again, Bugs Bunny, holding until that conductor decides, I want the music to go forward in time. You have been on hold. You are still in a pattern that says, I'm not quite sure how I go forward. But this downbeat must be for the music to go forward in a song of your creation. It is an opportunity for you to reassess who we collectively want to be, what we want to do with our lives, you with yours, what we do together as a society to support what needs to be done now and into the future. The most important thing to remember, one of many, pause and take time to connect with yourself and find out what it is that you want to create, putting those ideas into action. The downbeat must go forward, but it's your song. The arts are a great way for you to create and harmonize with others and with yourself, your community and within the world. We all have many of the same thoughts, feelings, ideas, experiences. But how we express them is our different roles as we had even in that small singing exercise. I want you to find your best notes. Those are your core beliefs. Color them with the truths that you know are you. Hold them close and let them guide you and let them lead you clearly to what you believe in. That is your steady beat. Like all creations, you, we are a work in progress. And what is consistent, your change, your ability to question, your ability to mutate, to rebel, to wonder, to change, and to improve, to become the best self that you can be in your future and the present now. On the journey, be in harmony throughout. Breathe with me on the upbeat. Here's your downbeat. Thank you. <laughs>